What's happening? I know exactly what's happening. Happy Wednesday. Wing while Wednesday. What does that mean? Yeah, boy. It means food for our tums. That's exactly what's going on. It's a Chinese takeaway called the Wing Wah. He fucking loves it. I I've, love it. I've been going it since I was a kid and I've converted him to it now. So yeah. it's become sort of a Wednesday staple. Don't worry, though, about lockdown and stuff. This was filmed long before those lockdowns happened. We're safe. We're distanced. We're bubbled. We're doing everything we're meant to be doing. Also, shout out to all the bigger YouTubers that are watching and stealing all our ideas. Ooh. We love it out. <laughs> Fire up the fucking quattro, son. Here we are, son. Nice, nice, nice. So, the deal is, of a Wednesday, we get a takeaway. We have a little business meeting. We do all these sorts of things. We are working. We're hard workers, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And we have a little drive here. And quite often, something happens there. Either we'll have a really good conversation or we'll see something dull on the way. So Definitely. he said, start filming it, put it on the channel. So guess what, we're filming it, we're putting it on the channel, innit? It's true though, it needs to be there, you know, and this this is always a road I remember now for, does it bring me joy? But I tell you what didn't used to bring me joy, it was a size in that Q7, driving around here, and now I fit, I flow, I'm in with it, it's nice and easy, you know? As you can see, it's a misty, wet day, and um... Welcome to Wales. Welcome to Wales is exactly right, innit? We're in Mexico, Wales. In Mexico, Wales, that's exactly what's going on. So, he popped up earlier, we've had a discussion about the business, innit? We've had a little discussion about all of the big YouTubers stealing all our ideas. It's happening, thanks for that. And now we're going to get some food. Well, no, he wants to go to the shop first to get some beer that yeah. they apparently don't sell by him. We'll show you that in a minute. Yeah, exactly. But for now, we're just driving down the road, innit? And if we see something, we see something. If we don't, we're done. Because I can tell you a little bit for the viewers, which is quite funny. Obviously, coming from a diesel car back to a petrol car was a little bit, you know, the excitement is still, even now, almost a month on, it's just like, boom, boom, everywhere, I can't help it. Mm. But obviously, the first time I took you for a spin, took you on this exact road. Possibly, yeah. I think we got shouted at three times. It was on this road. It was further down this road, but you were shouted at. <laughs> which, I'll show you why. I'll try and replicate we will, it. We will try and recreate. I, I don't want Depending it recreated, on traffic. but yeah. But yeah, so it's all good. So I tell you what, bruv, talk to me, right? It's of interest. We've done a lot of stuff this year. Obviously, yeah. I know we had to take a little break with our four month lockdown, but you know, shit was going on. But what's the maddest thing you've done? Let's extend it back to this time last year as well, then. What's the mad, what car or cruise or something stands out to you? I'm interested in all this myself. Let me ponder this a minute whilst you have a look at a little bit of footage of us driving. I mean, yeah, it's nice to reflect on it because there's more lockdowns coming because of that Drakeford prick and a um, <laughs> hashtag Welsh You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. I ain't wrong and it was waste, man. Fucking hell. If, if I walk, oh, I can't even say what I'm thinking, but um, bad man, very bad man. Very bad man, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Probably the most exciting thing I did, probably the thing that made me go far out of all the car experiences I've had, so bad a few, innit? Doing Viking boos, obviously, was Alex and his Evo 5. Lovely bloke, nice to meet him. Thank you for your service. And driving is 360 horsepower Evo 5. Oh, I love that thing. And he's putting a bigger engine in it. He's putting like a 500 horsepower engine in it. Yeah. Can't that. But it was the very first time I've ever driven performance JDM. I've owned shit JDM. <laughs> but it's not even JDM because it's sold in this country. So it's, it's not JDM, isn't it? But yeah, that, for me, that was my highlight, was driving that thing. Also, in the last 12 months, probably, it might have been a bit before that, I drove the e-tron, innit? it? Not far. <laughs> no, but it was the, the instant acceleration and the on-demand power in that thing. It was yeah. different to anything else I'd been in. I know, I can remember when we drove that first as well, that, when we literally just, you know, babying it, and then we thought, oh, we'll give it a go, foot mm. down, and it was, whoa you know, gone sort of thing. It did take us a surprise, and you know, I three-wheeled an e-tron. I actually three-wheeled an e-tron. Not even joking. If we've still got the picture, <laughs> I'll try and put it up. But yeah, boy over here thought, oh, it's, a, it's an off-roady type vehicle. Let's go and take it up this little bit of grass banking, innit? And um, yeah, one of the wheels decided to say goodbye to the floor <laughs> and come to meet them up in the air, wasn't it? <laughs> but that was pretty good. No, I tried, definitely. So, what about yourself, son? In the last 12 months, what would you say your car highlight was? Other than getting this, I don't think you can count getting the S5, etc. Look at his seats. <laughs> I do love those seats, though. He does love those oh, seats. Look, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm going to stop you there for we do it because this is one of the bits where we were shouted at a little bit. Oh, no, no, might be able to replicate it. We were a little bit in there more last time, but I think it was something along the lines of... Uh... <laughs> So 
see some of us got to live around these parts. But yeah, I think it was somebody who was walking past shouting to prick or something, innit? <laughs> Incident, if you wonder why I'm sat here rudely with my arms folded, it's because boy hasn't got any grab handles in this car. It's so a coupe, son. I got pillarless doors. It's I got a sports nowhere. car. I got nowhere to put my it's hands. It's a sports car. Um, so yeah, highlight for me, right? I'm not going to jump off the back of you, but obviously I've been German cars my own life. As many of you know, I preach Audi, this, that and the other, but driving Alex's Evo, first JDM experience, like the home vroom, tsh, the blow off on it. Hello, sir. Yes, I was revving. Yeah, had a good luck too, <laughs> innit? Um, that, that blew my mind. That made me want a Japanese car. That's made me look into the more the culture of it. It's made me want to go to Japan. It's made me want to do all that sort of stuff. And the other big side of stuff as well, which I'm hard to... half broken. Yeah, you, you, were, you, know, you weren't there. Um, was... I don't even know if you can see us at the minute. It's quite dark in this tunnel. Tunnel, bridge. It's happening. It's was, happening. Was SEMA. That was the other one for me. Because ah, that blew my mind, that whole car culture. But we're going back next year. Meant to be this year. Hopefully. Obviously, everything. Hopefully. Next year, that's happening. But that blew my mind, you know. Mm. Seeing stuff you watch on TV, definitely. But it's just been a crazy year, hasn't it? You know, we've done some cool stuff. We've had some match in the cruises. Been loving the cruises. I don't want to get hung up over where we are at the minute in that the government is trying to fuck up the entire country. So we'll... Naturally, I have recently moved to Mexico, which is how he's driving at these incredible speeds down these little roads. I just drive as I always drive. Yeah. I passed my test in Mexico. Did <laughs> you? I remember you wearing a sombrero and having some tequila to celebrate, wasn't and it? And what am I going to do in Sainsbury's? Buy the Mexican beer that I can't get in other places. Other supermarkets are available. <laughs> Yeah, down the road from here, go to Sainsbury's, He's, he likes it for beer. Hey, here's a, here's a, <laughs> a nothing, that's, <laughs> earlier on, I came, <laughs> we were talking last week, and he said his mother took him into an Aldi, and he's never been into an Aldi in his life. It's like, Megan, oh, Megan's a beer. Megan, sorry, bad, it was the other woman in his life. But today, I blew his mind, fucking hell's busy in here. Panic by NT. Hi, I um, took him up to Iceland Food Warehouse. You've never seen anything like it. No, 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 no. He was going on, oh, I'm going to have to come back and have a little shop up, yeah? <laughs> yeah. There's some good shit in there. It's surprising what you can pick up in there. And even, I know this is a different, totally different channel for what's going on, even branded stuff was a hell of a lot cheaper there. Yeah. Nuts, you, you, you took the fancy, didn't that? KB nuts, only 129 for a big bag. Thought that was great. Love peanuts, sapling. I tell you what, you know you're going to be a hooligan. Why do we do it when we leave as opposed to when we arrive? I'm not going to do anything of the sorts. Yeah. I'll start the queue to go in. Yeah. Oh, fuck that then. Yeah. Fuck that then. I can live without beer. So, you know, COVID times are happening. We were going to go in and get this beer, but it's not going to happen today. Why is it going to happen? Because there's a queue massive down the thing. See, people are panicking by it. He's blabbing. And also... I don't know, they're restricted. They're either the number of people coming in has gone up, you clear, or the number of people allowed in is reduced. Either way, we ain't coming. Smarties oh. are van, isn't it? It's like Smarties, man. That's some good now, though. But we've come here for a quick fucking... <laughs> no doubt, everybody in the queue is going, who are these pricks? It's him, it is. Well, we can't exactly go for a Chinese a bit early, man. You just, oh. you just keep pulling out, innit? You oh, just Pavera. Keep... i got time for a Pavera. Love a Pavera. Previa, innit? Previa, Pavera, same thing. It's not, it's a different thing, innit? Only because that movie carpool had one, remember that? Santa Barbara Berry, I'm thinking, I'll find, but yeah. yeah was, 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 Do you remember uh, the movie where the, he kidnapped the kids with the Previa? Do you remember that, the green one? Funny video. Picture of it up on screen now. Um, but my auntie had one of them when I was a kid as well. Where well, is that truck and where the it. fuck is it going? Well, I ain't going in the multi car park, is it? No, it's aiming towards a petrol station. It didn't, wasn't aware big things were going to petrol station, eh? That lane you want to be in, by the way, Bird man. Oh, look at that. One of them big four wheel drive things. What do you call them? Cars. Oh, council, council. Oh, look. Is it a Delica? Yeah, it is a Mitsubishi Delica. Is it Mazda? It was it. Yeah, it's a Mitsubishi Delica lifted. That one is. It's a Mazda Bongo. Is a fit with these cars we love. It's all going on though, isn't it? Look how tall that fucking thing is. Oh, it is. reminds me of the bloody Tango and Cash thing. I know what you. I know what you say. That's what it reminds me of. Nineteen five. I tell you, Wednesday, hump day. It's not hump day. It's a win one Wednesday. I get happy halfway through the day. Halfway I mean, through the day. Halfway through the week. I can't even speak. I'm getting so excited. Today is going to be an hell of an experience. I'm going to have my chicken. 
egg fried rice. Uh, egg fried, yeah, we're gonna have, yeah. Chicken, chicken fried chicken rice. Chicken fried, I get so sad, I can't, I can have a chicken fried rice, I'm gonna have a beef, what it is, I write a little note down in my notes every day of different food options mm. of when I go there in case I change my mind. So, I have a chicken fried rice, a beef chow mein, chips, pot of sweet and sour, and a pot of curry. All right, and that's gonna change my life. Stay there now, you. See, in the past, he's not had a beef chow mein. I always, I regularly have a beef chow mein. I love a beef chow mein. It's his first time, so I think he'll enjoy this. But yeah, this is the street that he blatted down before and people are shouting, shut up. Yeah, but in my defense, it might be slightly louder than the KS in front of me, but I'm doing no, you know, I'm not speeding, I'm just chill vibes. Being isn't it? anti-social, innit? But obviously, wing I don't open till such slow, so no. it's not pretty fucking shut in a minute. No, 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 our door's open. Our bird's in it. You're gonna park on the um, yellows here? Like a prick. Stop doing we'll that. Give her a little rev just to know oh, to get the food cooking. But I tell him. I hate them. <laughs> Some of us can't live around here, innit? I'll be honest, I don't know what the audio's like coming off my phone. Yeah. But we're currently, we've ordered. We're waiting outside because we're good boys, innit? This is why. Do you really even come to Wingwa, right? If you don't do this, you gotta go on. Gotta type in your Wingwa, Boston Road, what's happening? Pop it on it. Thing goes up on the socials. Gotta have it on here anyway. Do you even come to Wingwa if it's not on there? It's happening. Do you even Wingwa, bruh? Do you even Wingwa, bruh. Well, I've had tried to drive the wrong way down a one way street, but he's gone now, so that's nice. Oh, I tell you what, your camera's clear on there, though. True story. What you saying? It's clear. It is what it is, isn't it? Boom. That's because you keep buying that iPhone shit. Bruh, I was tempted to order the new one now. So I had this a year today, and of course, the new one has dropped on it, and I'm so tempted about it, but. For the first time in life, I'm going to behave because this year has been a whole, how can I say it? It's been, what's the word I'm looking for? When it's like... A piss take? No, epiphany. This world has been an epiphany. The life has been an epiphany. Your eyes have been opened. My eyes have been opened this year. There's I've opened your you eyes to JDM, story. to yeah. beef chow mein, which you haven't had yet. 100%. And I've learned there's more to life than wasting money on expensive cars, clothes, and everything else. Literally, there's more. I think, yeah, between you, between Megan, between everything. Changed my life this year. True story. Sapnin. Right, I'm gonna say we'll pick it up in the car now because I'm getting wet, my hand's fucking cold. <laughs> Sapnin. Both. Right. Oh, we fire we up the quattro. We back. We got food. Sapnin. What I love, right, is when he started coming here. Yeah. So the blow was on now. Sorry, it's so no, it's no, because no. it's raining. You it's do wet. it and then we'll pick it up a bit further up the road. So what I love is when he started coming here, when I started bringing him to Wingwa, and it went, when he he entered my circle of trust, and I was ready to bring him to the Wingwa. <laughs> it's <laughs> taken me three years to get there. Mate. I know, haven't I? Though, yeah, we were blocked for one of them. Wouldn't I? Remember that? <laughs> but um, he'd always have something, 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 and a papa dom. And every time now we go, he hasn't had a papa dom for about the last month. Every time she takes the order and she goes, no papa dom, and I laugh her. <laughs> I also love the fact that we've rocked up here in about six or seven different cars. Every time she goes, different car? Different car. She knows. She, oh, she's she's Kojak. She's all okay. she, Right. Girl in Chinese, right? Love the girl. Been seeing her for fucking, I don't know, 20 odd years. Not seeing her, but you know, I see her when I come in here. And, her. <laughs> and we come up in a different car every time because of him. And we got out one time. And we joked, it's not really his car, and she went, it is. Because when we parked, he went and looked at it, because he thought he'd marked it. And she, she fucking, she's like, Kojak, not Kojak, Columbo. Columbo, she's on a street. Murder she wrote, I don't know, somewhere. NCIS, innit? She's on it. But I also love the fact that we confused her, because Happy Wednesday last week couldn't take place. No. It had to be Happy Thursday. And she physically... You looked at the calendar. I said Happy Thursday, and she had to look at the calendar to see what day it was. No, it, we, it, we didn't, up. it didn't happen in that order. You walked in, she then looked at the calendar, then she looked at you. Because you're a Wednesday customer, you are. Because you make a point now saying Happy Wednesday, it's your thing, innit? Right, there we are, we're leaving trash on now, being noisy pricks. Like he is. Also... <laughs> I think I'm right in saying I'm filming this in 4K. I don't film half the fucking channel videos in 4K, but us talking shit in a car. Okay, right, your sweet and sour is gonna be everywhere. Just don't like it. Right, talk to the camera now about your wing food, right? You class it as 
there's an older school of Chinese takeaway that puts pineapple in the sweet and sour. Yeah. That won your heart, didn't it? Definitely. And although it was, you know, when I experienced it, what the first time I had it, it was one pineapple. And he had and a then, pop dom. Yeah, and a pop dom. And every, going forward, I've had two pineapples. So now that set the bar high. And I think it's because I'm a regular customer now. We have a laugh and a joke. They give me two pineapples. I think it's because they fucking peeked out of the kitchen, looked at you and thought, he's a big one, isn't he? Let's put two bits fucking I pineapple. I know, but it's an old school Chinese. It's none of this new fancy stuff. It's old school. The food is old school. It's nice. It's proper. It's real. I love it. Even in the inside, it's old school. It's still like half hour queue outside Sainsbury's. So you ain't having new beer. Ah, don't it's up to you. I don't mind if you want to come back down ah, later. It's literally, I got loads of beer in the house. It's only I was gonna get. I'll I got, honest, I got right? a Sainsbury's in Bridgend I'll anyway. Be honest, but... you know, even if you came this way to go home instead of the other yeah, way, it it's open when you come when you yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not much of a difference. No. Where's Sainsbury's in Bridgend? Town, is it? Up the oh, the Pines, of course it is. I don't class that as being in Bridgend, see? Yeah, of course it is. And when we say up the Pines, we mean, we mean MacArthur Glen. Did I just go through a fucking red light? We went straight through a red light. Prick. We're going to have to review the fucking video footage. We're going to have oh, to... Oh, feds. Oh, feds. Better drive sensible going from here, then. But we are in Mexico, so they can't really touch us. Nah, Ta man. Ta-da, now. That's the manana, senor. They maxed up. Alone in a car, wearing a mask, just in case, innit? That cheeky thing down there just gave it a black, didn't it? Wow, this thing gets up to 30 like nothing else on earth. It does, doesn't it? It goes all right. Whoosh. How moody that is, though. Ponte Free train oh, station. Oh, we've got the train in as well. I love that. I love seeing the train. I love the train got the xenons on them as well. The train's got xenons on them. <laughs> I love her. Oh, but it's only six o'clock now. Wing well, I don't officially open till six o'clock, but because we're VIP, you know. ahead of the time. Night rides happening. Okay, we're not so fucking where this one's to get in naturally. Getting it done, last points. I love what I would like about Weatherspoons. They do have some funky looking buildings, don't they? Old buildings, etc. Well, that used to be the main post office for the area. Post office, right, okay. Free house sat next. So, this Fiesta in front of us has got the Night Ride sticker. What's Night Ride? Do you know what Night Ride is? No. Pass. That's not a bad blue. I think that get, that's what gave it a cheeky black when we were down here. But obviously, now you were going to fuck with it. Oh, fuck me. Your sweet and sour is going to be everywhere. You're going to have 18 pieces of pineapple because it's going to be in pieces, son. <laughs> Also, grey graffiti, that's a new one up, looking nice. I made the paper, which is usually just full of BBC type lines. Can you hear him into his little uh, waistcoat on him then? No. <laughs> no, I couldn't hear it over this. I don't know if that's going to mess with audio opening that, but... Oh, it'll be loud. Now, the pre-sense of Audi has flashed out because it's sensed him being a prick. I'll be polite today. I'll be polite. That's got some fucking lights on it, mind. See one near the bloody little exam. Jesus! Isn't it? Tonight, Matthew. That's got all the fucking lights in the world, that's got. I've done that. I've had I can just, you know, I'm mellowing now, knowing that that Chinese is coming. Just make my fucking. Make sure my curry sauce is bumpy. I can't even be bothered to check. It's all fucking between my legs. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> How dark is it on screen now? Who knows? I don't know. If you notice, usually when we film it, we've got the GoPros on linear, which gives you a bit more of a square field of view. It's, it's not as distorted at the edges, but now, because I'm filming in 4K, 24 frames, if anybody's wondering, then it's only available in wide, which isn't as bad as super wide or super view, but it is still going to be distorted at the sides, but it's going to be more in the sides. Is it evident that I'm the one who does all of the editing and I put a lot of thought into Yo, this I, shit? I don't know what the hell you're rambling on about. Tell him a joke. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Prick. <laughs> if this is the end of the video, yeah. then we're on the way back now. We're going to have the food. We love a Chinese takeaway. It's his first time having the beef chow mein. I'm interested to see what he makes of it because I always have the beef chow mein. It's my favourite. I yeah. love it. I'm all big bass. I'm also intrigued that I've lost a bar of fuel going to get a Chinese. If you've seen this video, you'll understand how he's lost a bar of fuel. But also, it? I just want to say there's mad stuff coming. I keep piping her up. 
It's, this is literally the start of shit that's gonna come. Was that, it's gonna was that a wraith, a ghost, stood in the wilderness? What was I, don't know. I don't even know. I'm driving into the fort, Silent Hill, now that's what's going on. But there's mad shit coming, there's all sorts of stuff coming. Wicked there's cool coming. cars, JDM American, I keep saying every time, subscribe, like, share it, hit one of us up, wanna chat with one of us, hit us on Viking View socials, Instagram, Facebook, our own personal ones are on screen, get that done. Um, if you've got some cars, let us know, because we wanna get them on the channel. You know, I want to do Obviously, as much stuff. Not over the lockdown period, because that would be unlawful. Well, no, it's not even a law, it's an act, but we won't go there. When it's possible, we're going to be doing it. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. We want your car. Sapman, Apple a day, keeps a doctor away. And on that bombshell, on that fruit based bombshell, until next time, if we get there in one piece, take it easy now. Mad love now. Boosh! Boosh! <laughs>